Ever felt that fairy rage when your one speedy PC decides to take a leisurely stroll through molasses? You're not alone. Today, we're tackling that frustration head on. Hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Curb, where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Today, we're about to embark on a journey to supercharge your Windows experience. And the best part, it won't cost a dime. Buckle up for 15 detailed tips to make Windows faster for free. Let's dive in. First off, we'll be going to disable or startup apps. For that, we're going to want to go to the task manager and the hotkey to open up task manager will be control plus shift plus escape. Once you're there, go to the startup tab. Here you can disable some startup apps that you don't want to start when your window is booted. This is going to highly reduce your boot time and enhance your system's speed. Next up, we're going to uninstall the unwanted and unused apps from your system. For this, we're going to go to the settings, click on apps, installed apps, and here you can uninstall the apps that you no longer use. This will free up some space and enhance computer speed. Your computer is going to thank you for this. Next up, if you don't want your system to look more fancier, but rather more fast, you can go to the Windows Run dialog by using this hotkey, Windows plus R. You can type sysdm.cpl here. Hit enter. Here, go to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance tab, go to Settings. Here, you can disable some special effects that makes your system look fancy, but doing so will make your speed more faster. And if you're more into best performance, you can just click here and it will do everything for you. And you can just apply this and click OK. Next up, for the number fourth tip, we're going to disable the transparency effects of Windows. For that, we'll go to the settings. Here under the accessibility tab, we can go to the visual effects. Here we can disable the transparency effect and your system will appreciate some reduction in eye candy to more performance boost. Stay ahead of the game by ensuring that your Windows is up to date. Go to the settings. Go to Windows Update and click on Check for Updates. An up-to-date Windows is better for performance and security of your Windows. To ensure the safety and good performance of your system, you can do something like malware scan. We can enhance your system's performance by going to the Windows Security and removing malware that is affecting your system's speed. Go to the antivirus and threat protection and give it a quick scan and remove any malware that is affecting your system's speed. A safe and healthy system is the way to best performance. No more unwanted advices. For that, we'll go to the settings. We'll go to system and under notifications, scroll down all the way to additional settings. Here you can uncheck these boxes and not get any unwanted advices and tips from the windows. This will enhance your system speed by a margin. Give your system a power boost by changing your performance settings. For that, let's go to settings. Let's go to system and go to the power and battery. Here we can choose our power mode, select best performance. This ensures that your system runs on full capacity when needed. Now it's time to clean up your system. For that, we'll go to the settings and we'll go to system under the storage tab. We'll go here and activate the storage sense option as well as we'll go to the cleanup recommendation and here you can clean up all the files that you don't want and the files that you no longer use. Make sure that the downloads option is unchecked because this will empty your downloads as well. This cleanup will free up some space and make your performance better. Optimize your hard disk by defragmenting. But notice this only works on SDD. It does not work on solid state drives, that is SDD. So let's go to the settings, go to system, storage, scroll down to advanced options. And here you can go to drive optimization. This optimization makes sure that your files are stored in a manner for faster access. Reduce background processes by optimizing your search indexing. For that, we'll go to system settings. Here under privacy and security, we'll go all the way down to searching windows. Here we can configure our search indexing for better performance. We can scroll down to advanced indexing options. And here we can go to advanced. 
and we can just simply click on this rebuild and this will rebuild your indexing and you can further modify it as you want. Tame your OneDrive. If you're not using it, consider closing it because OneDrive is running in the background which is taking your system speed. For that, we'll go to OneDrive, click on it, go to settings and quit OneDrive. If you close OneDrive, files in your OneDrive folder won't sync. This means that we are stopping the syncing and this will enhance your speed as the background processes will no longer be working. Next up, we're going to clear our temporary files. For that, we're going to use the run dialog box. Press Windows plus R and here type temp to open up a temporary files folder. Click on continue. Here you can select all of these. These are the temporary files which you don't use. These are just some logs and some temporary file data. You can simply delete these just like that. Some of the files may cause these errors because they are currently running. So for those, I'll just simply click on skip for all these files. We'll do the same thing for another temporary file folder, which is person temp person. You can select all these files and delete them as well. They are unwanted and temporary files that you don't need. Click on continue to delete these files. This will add up to your system's performance, making it faster. Next up, we'll be scanning for corrupted files on your system and resolving those errors. For that, we'll be using CMD. Search for CMD and make sure you run this as an administrator. Use this command here, SFC slash scan now. This command will make sure to scan your system for corrupted files and resolve those errors. If all these tips fail, you just need to reset your PC. For that, we'll be going to settings. We'll be going to system. Here under the recovery tab, we'll go to reset this PC. Once you click on it, it will erase all personal data and reinstall Windows. So make sure if you want to save any data, do back it up on another device or anything that you have on hand, maybe a hard drive. This is the last resort if nothing works. And there you have it, 15 step-by-step -step tips to wrap up your Windows experience.